Hi, I'm Peter Kamstrom of Kamstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will continue working on the Tasks to Do app that I have here in Power Apps. Before, I've created two SharePoint lists. I've added a Power Automate flow to populate the uh, Tasks to Do based on the task templates. And also, I've done this uh, UI with a quick way to complete your tasks and also searching functionality. That's what we've done so far. So if you want to see that, that's in the previous demos. What we're going to do now is add some more functionality to this. So these tasks might require some extra information. So let's put that through the, the whole system. Uh, so we're going to be able to show that here we're in the app. We're going to uh, have that in the templates and we're also going to have it in the actual tasks, of course. So let's uh, have the by daily cleanup. Of course, that needs some instructions on what materials to use or, or cleaning liquids or stuff like that. And of course, all of these tasks might need extra instructions. So let's just add a column here, right here. And that could be multiple lines of texts. And sure, why not uh, use the rich text here so that you can do uh, links and stuff and pictures and everything. So that is good. So I'm just going to do instructions here, save that, and then I'm just going to edit this task, edit all, there we go. So I'm going to put the next tasks for today so that we get an instance of that, and then I'm going to do some instructions here. You use uh, friendly cleaning liquids. It's whatever that could mean. The corners. All right. So those are the instructions, right? Okay. So let's save that. So we need to, of course, put this instructions also in the tasks to do list. Add a column. There we go. Multiple lines of text. And again, we're going to make that the uh, rich text there. Even though I didn't use it in the example, it works with or without it, of course. So that's good. So now in my flow, the in here, you notice that I create the item. So I'm going to update that down now with that extra field. And as you see, it doesn't get updated automatically here. I need to save, of course, and then refresh this so that I get the new field. And I get a warning about the get templates. Yeah, that's fine. I can ignore that warning. So let's refresh this now. This is an interesting bug here that when I just refresh you see I didn't get any contents. I did save so everything is there. This of course gave me a big scare the first time I got this bug. But uh, just refresh again and go into and then you see all of your content is there. But it's scary when you lose all of your actions in there. Of course that's a good thing to have in the video. So let's move on into here, the loop templates and condition. There we go. There, I create the items. And now you see when I refreshed, I should have the instructions in here also. So that's good. Uh, all I want to do is just copy that from the instructions on the get templates. And then we're done. So let's save that now. And go back into my tasks to do. And just remove this by daily cleanup that I'm going to be created again. And then I'm going to run my flow here. Test that. Usually it runs at 7 o'clock every morning, but now I'm just going to run it automatically. There, it's fine. So this is, of course, copying the, this uh, task now on the task templates because today is the due date for this um, task. So now it's running and it's done already. So let's go into the task to do and see here if I have this. Yes, use friendly uh, cleaning liquids and clean the corners well, very well. But in the Power Apps, this one does not show that information, of course. So now I want to show this information on the task. So previously I hid something here and I can, of course, find it here on the next arrow which is this thing and it's hidden now. So I'm going to uh, just uh, show that now. So if I click that, then uh, nothing happens right now. It's just a selection. But of course, I can make that something happen here. So what I'm going to make happen is that I'm going to navigate to another screen. 
I'm going to create a new screen. We have something interesting here that we can start with. Uh, yeah, let's do a form. That's what we want. So I'm adding a screen with a form. So I'm going to connect that to the data and I'm going to connect it to task to do. Here's the data source. I'm going to add that there. And uh, now it's uh, populating that data already. Uh, let's zoom out so that we can see better what's going on here. Whoops, that's too much. So you have the title, the uh, done and now it's just defaulting to all of those things. So we can um, go in here and the tree view, select the items that we want. We'll just call that the task details screen so that we know what we're working on like that. And uh, then in the edit form here, the I'm gonna edit the fields and select that we don't want the uh, attachments to be visible yet remove that and um, we can put the done at the bottom looks nice right and of course we don't want the instructions to be editable so we just want them to read that so we're just going to view the text on that item and same thing with the title actually it's just going to be uh, view text now let's see how this looks let's close that out these buttons here this submits the form, which is exactly what we want it to do, and that uh, does nothing. So let's uh, navigate back to the main screen when we do that. All right. So the main screen is called screen one, which is not a good name. So let's rename that. Tasks list is a good name for that, I think. But that's what, what it does, the main thing. All right, let's go back to the edit form there, the screen, and work on that. So then we're on selecting that, we'll simply go to navigate to the task lists. There we go, tasks list. And here we can also select if we want to cover. So I'll just do cover, that's great. So the next thing we need to do here, now we've, that we've set up the navigate back, is of course a way to get to this task detail screen. And we're gonna put that on the next arrow there. Uh, I'm gonna rename that also so that we are very clear on what that's doing. So that's an icon. I usually prefix my names of objects with the kind of object that it is. I'm just gonna call that ICO details like that. So when you click that one, it selects the parent now, which is okay, but I'm gonna change that to navigate to the uh, other screen. Navigate to the details, task details, right? And let's have the cover on that too. All right, so let's try this out now. Let's play it. And then if I click this now, I get into that. But there's no item to display. Okay, let's see if the back icon works also. Yep, then we, it goes back, so that's fine. But we're gonna display, of course, an item in this task details screen. So the way to do that is to connect this uh, whole edit form, which is what we're showing. And we're gonna select the item. It's blank now. So that's gonna be on the gallery, the gallery one. Let's rename the gallery one first so that we know what we're working on. This is the gallery of tasks, right? Gal tasks to do, that's what we're working on. So back to the edit form and the item, I'm gonna show the current item. So the gal uh, tasks to do, select it. And that's all I need to do, right? So let's play this now, go back to my main screen, the task lists, play that. And now when I click on more work and I go back, click on the daily cleanup, which actually does have an instruction. There you go. Oh, it's showing the uh, title, it's showing the instructions, but it's showing those in text format. But I can, um, fix that of course so let's do that all right so it's showing the instructions but not in the format that we like so let's go back to the edit form there we go and edit this select the the fields 
So the control type on the instructions should be view, view rich text, of course. So the type of text that we're showing here is view rich text. And it looks good, right? Yep, use the friendly cleaning liquids and clean the corners well. That's good. So we can select that and done. And go back. Great, so now that that got saved. But of course, when you actually click on that you're done, we want this to close also and go back to the, the other tasks, right? So this one now, it submits the form, but we also want it to navigate. So once the task is uh, submitted, then we go back and we do that by using the navigate again. Seen that before? Navigate back to the task list and let's do cover again. And another semicolon to when we have more than one line. All right, so that was a rather long demo, uh, but we showed to how to make a detail screen and how to add some instructions on that. Um, so we added a new column here in the task to do. We added it in the task templates, and we uh, we modified the flow and we modified the form. So quite a lot got done during that demo. Thank you for watching this demo.